is not going in there. What's wrong with it? Ventilation. He's got ventilation. Look at it, it's all clear. Shove your hands through and test it. Go on. There's not enough. Not enough? Any more, you'll have him dead of pneumonia. Dead? That's right. Don't you talk to me about dead ones. You slaughtered one of his chums last week. What the Sent him off in a box like this, never even reached the airport. That wasn't my fault. Suffocated. In Look, transit. am I supposed to be, to be responsible? Yes, you are responsible. It was a pure accident. Something fell down and blocked the grill, some sacking. So don't you come round here, Mr. Cruelty Man, yelling your head off at me in front of my staff. There should have been two grills. You what? Two at least, you know that. And if your staff don't, they do now. Oh, right, not in the That won't do. What's wrong now? Well, get him a bigger crate, something he can move around in. I don't have to. I'm suggesting it. What else? A little velvet cushion for him to sit on? Listen. This crate is acceptable to the airline. Yes, we're after them too, Mr. Jack. You're not on your own. In the meantime, set him a good example and get this cheater on the road well and happy. And I mean happy. Are you running this outfit? Yes, it might be an idea. Look, don't you talk to me. I was an animal trader when you couldn't spell C-A-T, cat. I can handle them. Like through there now, I've got big stuff. Lions, half a dozen lions, two bears, three more like him, cheetahs. Hundred nod monkeys for research. That's a lot of my money tied up in fur coats. Think I don't look after I it? I want to see your books. Books? Your record books, now. You've got no authority. I'm asking. I could have you flung out of here. Right. Find another crate for that. Vodka, the only thing. Acts fastest. Not for me. Not while I'm on duty, sir, eh? You know, when you first came in, I thought you were a cop. And I thought, my God, they're taking all sorts these days. And I saw the cruelty badges. The books. You'll be lucky. Help yourself. Quarantine record. It's there. You're new. To this area. Name again. Curry. Inspector Curry, hot on the trail. I bet you've suffered with that. Not till now. Oh, it's all down there. Meticulous. Invitation dates, dates out of quarantine. You won't find a thing. Quite a few cheaters. Where do they go? Some for the export, like show me out there. Otherwise, cheetah fanciers. Is that so? Oh, they buy them like cats. Not my fancy, but then I don't like cats. Sumatran honey bears. Private zoos. Wolves. Same thing. Look, Inspector, you're just fishing. Call it a day. Timberwolf, origin Hungary. I told you, this is legitimate trade. Where did this wolf go? Oh, look, Curry. Look, just for instance. I'm sure it found a good home. Don't be funny. It's a canine, and canines are principal rabies suspects. All right, all right. There. Full quarantine period and note of sale. Where? There. To the pet shop, Westbury Road. A wolf. There's another one the same. Timber wolf, Romanian origin. Where did this one go? To the pet shop, Westbury Road. If that's what it says, that's where it went. And there's another one. So what? Well, I don't believe it. Oh, look. Look, I've you... seen that shop. It's a little hole and corner place. Budgies and hamsters, not wolves. What are you suggesting? You should have made it a little more convincing. Better address. London Zoo, a safari park, not the pet shop, Westbury Road. Oh, Inspector Curry. Where did these wolves really go? Yeah. No. I think you slipped them out of quarantine and then sold them, then faked these entries to put the dates right. <laughs> Just the tip of the iceberg, isn't it? <laughs> Your mistake was to let it show. I'm warning you, I'm not going to let this drop. I shall go back over every single transaction. I'm on to you, Jeb. Handcuffs. Take me in, Inspector. For questioning, to help with your inquiries. I wish I could. <laughs> Inspector Curry of the Yard. I shall have your license. Exactly. Give him a bit more jelly, eh? He likes the jelly. 
Good for him. He knows that, don't you, boy? Twenty-five feet. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mrs. Florence Raymond. Miss. Oh, I beg your pardon. Miss Raymond, I'm Inspector Curry, RSPCA. Is something wrong? No, 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 no. I'd just be grateful for your help in a purely routine inquiry. Of course. Thank you. It's a nice shop you've got here. I keep everything in good order. Yes, I can see. Plenty of fresh sawdust. I always tell by that. What's hiding up here? Mice? Baby hamsters, a ah. litter of them. Happy family. Hello, then. They're nice kittens, these. What's it about? Sorry? Your inquiry. Oh, it's, um... Rabbits, I see, and guinea pigs. Budges, finches. You don't, you don't go in the, for anything more exotic. Exotic? Well, monkeys, for instance. No, I'd never sell a monkey. They're difficult pets. Yes, quite right. People don't realize. Exactly. Then they want to get rid of them, have them destroyed. Well, I, I don't think I need bother you anymore, Miss Raymond. What about your inquiry? Well, you've answered it. You never asked me. <laughs> yes, anything. I didn't. You told me. I don't understand. No, please don't worry. I'll just say thank you very much and good afternoon. I don't think I like this. Look, I can assure you there's Look, not... Inspector Curry, if there's something going on that concerns me, I'd like to know what it is. It's really nothing worth upsetting please, yourself. Please, Inspector. Well, I, uh, I... I think somebody's been using the name of your shop. What? How? Well, to cover up his tracks, faking entries, records. My shop? Oh, please don't worry. You won't be the only one. I'm just getting started. Who is it? Oh, packet of bird seed. Yes. No, the other kind, my usual. Oh. Yes, of course. Seventeen P. Thank you. Who? Oh. It's an animal dealer. Gracious me. Miss Raymond, have you ever taken delivery of a Hungarian timber wolf. Well, now you see what I mean. Now, if you get involved at all, it'll be simply a formality. Sometimes. No, please put it out of your head now. Sometimes we get a request for an unusual pet. It must have been something like that. You did have one? I really don't remember. Well, this was dated only a couple of months ago. I mean, if you. if it happened, you'd hardly forget it. No. And there were others before that. Several entries all put down to this shop, Miss Raymond. You must know. You'd better talk to my father. Your father? I can't talk about it. You must ask him. That is, if he's willing, he doesn't often see people. Uh, where is he? In the house. Perhaps you could come back another time. Well, um, I think perhaps I'd better see him now. Just a moment. Wait here. Well, please tell him it's important. I mean to me. Achieved it. You've got him here. Done what you wanted. Now get out. Inspector, cut him, my father. I'll handle this. Get back to the shop. What's your name? Inspector Curry, RSPCA. Hmm. Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. There's no cruelty here, did you think there was? No, I was just checking some records. Oh, checking, yes. Always some little man somewhere checking something in uniform or out. Checking means preventing, is that what you do? Prevent things? If they're wrong, I try. And even if they're right. Oh, I know you people, you are kind of... Are you an exception, huh? I do my job. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. I think I'd better explain exactly why I'm here. If you are here on some proper errand, there can only be one reason for it. Well, what's she done? Who? 
my daughter, my lawfully engendered fool. Has she broken a bylaw, sold some rotten cat's meat? No, nothing of the kind. Mm. Pity. Not even that much life in her. Can't even offend. It's, it's not about the shop. Well, at least not directly. It, it's about wolves. How is it? In the course of some routine inquiries, In I came... In the course of some routine inquiries. Now, there's a nice round phrase. I found occasional records of wolves being delivered to this shop. Well, well. It seemed most unlikely. It would? Importer, Mr. Dougie Jeb, origin Eastern Europe. That's the best source now. You did have them. Perfectly legal transactions. What's bothering you, their political affiliations, that there were red wolves? No, no. I assure you, they were grey, as usual. But uh, what on earth? Beautiful creatures, splendid condition. I was very pleased with them. Properly quarantined? Of course. But where did they go? What happened to them? Oh, is that your business? This is a properly licensed establishment. We could sell them whatever we like. Where did you? What? Sell them. That didn't arise. Look, I'd take it as a kindness if you told me who they were for. Me. You. I wanted them. I kept them. Now are you satisfied? Uh, have you still got them? Inspector, are you incapable of accepting any answer? Where are they now? Stop it, sir. Look, I'm simply... No, so... I will not be put to this idiotic examination. I've taken quite enough. I am sorry. I'm... My time is precious. You've heard the old cant phrase, time is money, well, mine is pure gold. I'm sorry, I didn't... Get mean... out! Well, talk of the devil. You've got a keen lad here, Joe. Look after him. Cheerio. Bye. What did he want? Sniffing about, trying to find out if you'd reported him. What did you say? Nothing. I know nothing. If I did, he's not a man I'd tell things to. Tea? No, thanks. Have you got something on him? I thought I had. What about? Quarantine records. Ah. Oh. No, I was wrong. Oh, that's sad. He deserves to be nailed. I still don't... St Unless they were in it together. Who else? A man called Raymond. Old Raymond? <laughs> oh, you know him? Oh, you should have asked me him. He's not in anything with anybody. He's in that case. I've just talked to him. You talked? Well, tried. What could he possibly want with timber wolves? Wolves? Three of them, at least. That's all the entries. Chief Inspector Nash? He said they weren't resold, so I... All right, put her through. Kitten up a tree. Oh, we used to hear a lot about Leo Raymond, the great scientist. Scientist? Well, self-styled. He's just an amateur, a crackpot, always trying to get his name in the papers. Hello, Mrs. Uh... Oh, still up there, is she? Oh, dear. Um, offered her milk, have you? And fish? Well, they all like fish. Of course they do. What was his line? Hmm? His line? Eccentric pronouncements. Uh, you know, evolution, Darwin got it all wrong, etc. Uh, look, Mrs. Uh, why not try fish? Uh, boil up a few pilchards and, and let her smell them. I, I cross swords a, a few times with him in the local press. About evolution? No, circuses, animal training. Uh, he had some very peculiar ideas. Look, Mrs. You don't uh, suppose those wolves had... Uh, yeah, well, give the fish smell a try. Um, wave the pan about under the tree. Trying to tame them or something like that, just to prove that it... <sighs> Joe, mm? those wolves, old Raymond, do you think he could possibly have been... Now, look, Mrs. Try out the fish dodge, and if she isn't there it, down in five minutes, I, I'll, I'll come round there myself. Yes, yes, of course. And yet, yet the fire brigade too, if necessary. Yes, yes. Yes, Back again? Yes, I'd just like a few more words with your father. No, you upset him. Well, I didn't mean to. He couldn't settle to his work for ages. It was dreadful of you. Wicked. 
He couldn't even eat his lunch. So if there's anything you've got a right to know, you'd better ask me. Thank you. It's about the wolves. Oh, uh, yes. Your father admitted there were, uh, they were supplied to this shop. There were three of them over the past 18 months. Yes. What happened to them? Didn't he tell you? Well, he got uh, rather abusive. Then I can't either. But you said a moment ago... I said things you've got a right to. Miss Raymond, these are rare wild animals. I am concerned about their condition and their welfare. What happened to them? Look, I could have the local authority come and investigate the whole thing. Are you prepared for that? Don't. Yes, I'm not here to threaten. I don't like it. I'm not even very good at it. They were needed. How? He had to have them for his work. There now. His work? Yes. Miss Raymond, what is his work? I can't. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't. It's beyond me, you see. Quite beyond my intellectual capacity. He's so far above me, so very much cleverer. When he's tried to explain it to me, and he often has, I, I just couldn't grasp it. I did my best, but... Inspector Curry, I'm only a foolish woman, but I know this much. My father is a genius. Oh. I believe he's one of the greatest men in this world. Not that it does him any good. The world can't see him. It can't understand him any more than I can. If His it's... sort are never recognized in their own time. Isn't that awful? Yes. Someday, but... when his writings come to be published, there'll be shame on this land. But it'll be too late. Miss Raymond. I cry if... about him at night. He's getting old. You look after him. I serve him. Say that. Mr. Curry, if I could somehow make it happen for him. If only I'd do just about anything. Anything. Lorraine? What's going on down there? Who's that? Oh, the RSPCA. Hello, Mr. Raymond. Is she giving you trouble? Trouble? Sounds like it. Mr. Raymond, I think... Oh, forget her. Come along in, Florence, make tea. Some tea for our guest. Yes, Father. Mr. Curry. Thank you. Sit down. Bring us some of your scones and things. Pick out the good ones. She's as slow-witted as her late mother without the mother's compensating talents. She's loyal. Mr. Curry, the loyalty of a stupid person can be a very dulling commodity. Now, this is my bedroom and my study combined. I have to keep close to my notes. Sometimes I wake in the middle of the night. That's when the best ideas come. The very best ones. The trackway of the mind is cleared of the day's rubbish and it's a clear run down to deeper levels. Oh, sit down, sit down. Thank you. I'm here to ask about your work. Ah. Exactly what sort of thing is it that no, you... One moment, please. Not so fast. It's a very serious thing to demand of a man. What is your work? I hope you don't mind. Your life's work. I want to evaluate it. No, nothing at all. Implied. Not uh, at all. Young man to old man, it must be a value judgment. What does his life's labor amount to? Well, so that we make sure, because uh, misunderstanding can be so much more dangerous than ignorance. Uh, Let's find out if you are able. What qualifications have you got? A degree? Uh, no. no. But those little badges... Yes, we get training. Practical? Mostly. Uh, you've worked in laboratories. I've, uh, I've visited labs. Uh, not quite the same thing, Mr. Curry. You know, you're really a kind of uh, private eye of the animal trade. If I were to use the term DNA, 
Deoxyribonucleic acid, does it mean anything? Genetics. Oh, good, good. Is uh, that what it's about? Ah, tea. Unwantedly prompt. Um, I had the kettle boiling. Just put it on the floor. There, child, there. I put milk in the cups. Thank you. Now you can get back to cleaning your hamsters. One's offspring are a distorting mirror. They mock one with themselves. I have to remember I'm not that. You know, it's not very easy, Inspector, to pass one's day in a room above a back street pet shop and still retain the certainty. Any certainty at all? <clears throat> Ah, oh, tea's less watery than usual, perhaps in your honor. Any sense? I'm all right. It's just a sudden leaning over. She'll be coming. Don't let her in. There's nothing wrong. Uh, a touch of fever, maybe. That's quite normal with me. I've always had a very rapid metabolism. Do you know what I ought to be now? Lecturing to the British Society for the Advancement of Science. Not my rights, of course, or flying off to some international congress. Stockholm, perhaps. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Men have won the Nobel Prize for less significant work than mine. I will try to understand. Oh. You won't manage it. I'll do my best. My subject is lycanthropy. Well, in trouble? Uh, you can't mean it. You know what it is? I think so. Well, let's see if you've got it right. Men are supposed to be able to change from their own shape into animals. Uh, particularly the wolves. The werewolf. Yes, from the old English were for man, man wolf. It's a very ancient and widespread belief. Yes, but that doesn't mean that. Uh... Mm. No smoke without fire. That's a good working principle, I've always found. The fire in this case lies in the origins of mankind. The origins of mammalian life, before it started to take over from the dinosaur and the reptile, that's where you've got to look. Oh, you mean fossils? Good, good. The bone buried in the rock, the fossil record. You'll find many amazing examples of uh, common ancestry there. Well, I know about... Uh... Uh, like ourselves and the apes. Huh? Oh, that was last week, my dear boy. Mm, relatively speaking, a slight recent differentiation like the rhino and the horse. No, no, I'm talking about way back, before the ape men and the man apes, all the primates. Fifty million years or more ago. Back to those first crude little mammals who hadn't decided to be. They evolved this way into the lemur and things like us, and then us. That way into the canines, the proto-wolves. The link is still there. What link? The memory of how it was. That far back? Certainly. But if... If, if you're trying to tell me that we can remember some... You do. Me? Of course you do. We all do. But not with the brain. The deepest memory isn't a mental function at all. It's in the cells of the body. Every single cell imprinted with the individual and the race. It's the body, not the brain, that remembers. DNA. Oh. 
You see, you hadn't really understood it after all. DNA, RNA, the whole spectrum of nucleic acids. <laughs> no, I... No what? Well, you... You're just playing with uh, scientific terms. Oh, 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 oh. Unworthy, Mr. Curley. Unworthy. Just because you happen to be out of your depth. All right, I am. Obviously. But all the same, I mean, listen. It... Well, come on, come on, some good, honest common sense to cut through the jargon. The distant past is in the past. It's gone. You can't reverse evolution. Of course not. Yes, but what you're talking about... I am talking about the present. Those we left behind at the fork of the road. They're still over there on the other track. We can call to them, reconnect with them. So you really believe that a living individual of one species can change into an individual of another? Yes. Because that's what you're saying. And you mean that. Mr. Raymond, I... I am going to prove it. You can't. I'm nearly there. But can't you see that you're just sitting here and scribbling and picking through a lot of complete nonsense. I mean, that's all it can ever really amount to. Come in here. Fully equipped. Without my modest private income, I couldn't have managed it. Florence's profits from the shop would hardly have. What's that for? Now, what do you think? Vivisection. That's exactly the emotive word I would have expected from you. Those wolves. Were thoroughly anesthetized at all times. What did you do and to I them? I can assure you that Canis Lupus, fully adult and unconscious, takes some lifting. My poor old tick. What did you do? Nothing you could object to. I've told you, no cruelty. I have the highest professional standards. You cut them up? They were humanely and painlessly put to death at the proper time. But before that? I took some spinal fluid and some tissue from the brain and other parts. And threw the rest away? Disposed of it, yes. A souvenir, if you like. Study my trepanning method. You did all this for amusement. Oh, no. Don't mistake me. I took what I wanted for my own real purpose. I kept tissue alive in nutrient fluid. I preserved lymph, freeze, dried and centrifuged as a basis for... Oh. Now we come up against your lack of science. What does it matter? Let's call it the grandma vaccine. Grandma? Mm, yeah, the term I used for it when I used to try to explain my concept to poor Florence. Little Red Riding Hood. Don't you remember? Straight out of folklore, a case history. Don't you see it wasn't the wolf that swallowed Grandma? Grandma was the wolf. Pure lycanthropy. It's a fairy tale. A folk memory. When Little Red Riding Hood saw what was in the bed, it wasn't a disguise. A wolf and a mob cap. No child would have been taken in by that. No. It was Grandma, all right. But then, Grandma, what big eyes you have. Grandma, what long ears you're growing. Grandma, what a big nose you have now. Grandma, what big teeth you have. And all the time before the eyes of a horrified child, Grandma was turning into a wolf. So? 
the grandma vaccine. You made it. Oh, yes, for cross injection to implant the human cell memory in the lupine DNA and pack again. Oh, I'm running ahead of you. No, you're not. You'd have to have a human subject. Well done, Inspector. Who? Well, who was the most available? Yourself. Of course. My God. Well, there are side effects, of course, but they have to be born. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm expendable. I think perhaps you'd better show me exactly what it is you do. Oh, of course. Why not? Why not? It's a progressive course of injections. One cc, two cc, three cc. We're up to 70 cc's now. Into your own veins? Arteries. I'm a walking incubation factory. Okay. It's what the right side effect. Don't worry, this stuff won't harm you, even if I did drop it. Mr. Raymond. What happened? He's sick. He's mad. He's been systematically poisoning himself. No, he told no. Me. He didn't say that. I heard you. Onto the couch. My guess is septicemia, acute blood poisoning. You don't know. Well, I'm pretty sure. You're not a doctor. Well, then get one. He should be in hospital. No. Look, you need treatment. It had better be soon. I told you, side effects. Who is your doctor? I forbid her. No one's going to interfere. I'm sorry I showed you. I thought you perhaps you'd make some limited attempt to understand. Obviously, you're incapable. <laughs> Miss Raymond, come up here, please. Please, come. Completely insane. This might kill him. He must be left. Look, I'm going to ring the hospital and get an ambulance. No. It has to be done. I'll do it. Well, right away. I will. I promise. Now, please go. He must know you've gone. I have to make a full report on all this. You know that. Yeah. No, dog. On the cage? It was really adequate this time. Good, good. You think he's turned over a new leaf? More likely the gentle pressure of Bob Curry's boot. <laughs> yeah, bye now. News of your cheater, Bobby, got to the airport in decent nick and went on his way rejoicing. Our people saw him off. Doesn't make Jeb a goody. Well, of course not. It's just to get you off his back. Oh, don't worry. Now, how were the goats? Emaciated. There were 19 of them that eaten their patch bare. The owner? He must have lost interest. His neighbor's looking after them until we find him. Did you read my report? Oh, no, Raymond, I did, yes. I spent half the night on it. There it is, under her look. Oh, yes, clear my desk image. Tied up with the rope, trying to get our confidence back. Sarah. Well, you think he's mad? It must be. I thought he was nothing but talk, but this God, is it? Is there any action? Ought to be. I'm not sure what. Those wretched wolves are past history. Pity one of them didn't get him. He was equipped. Hmm, we might try to put a case together and charge him when he comes out of hospital. If he comes out. He's in a bad way. Well, perhaps that'll be the kind of solution. Chief Inspector Nash. Hmm? Uh, who's that speaking? Yes, he's here. Do you want to talk to him? Mr. Dougie Jeb. Hello. Inspector Curry, how are we, mate? Mr. Jeb, if you're ringing to claim credit for dispatching that cheetah properly, yes, we do know about it, and we're glad you've got the point. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Nothing of the sort. Nothing to do with that. I'm trying to do you a favor. A favor? What I said, you're straight with me, squire, so tit for tat. 
Anything I get through the grapevine, you're the first to hear. A pal of mine in the business has just completed a small transaction. When was this? Are you sure? Yes, thank you. Yes, yes, I'll remember. Well? The pet shop took delivery of another wolf today. Today. You want... I can't get any attention. It's a disgrace. <laughs> Are you a policeman? Uh, no. Oh. Well, somebody should do something about it. Oh, I can't wait any longer. Still there. You promised me. He's not going to hospital. Look, the state he's in. No. He might be dying. If he is, there's nothing to be done. He must be left alone. It's what he wants. Look, he's past knowing. He knows. And they mustn't interfere with him. Who? People. They've been against him all his life. This is his time. That animal. What about it? Is my business. Where is it? In the yard, still in its cage. And you knew about it when I was here yesterday. It was all fixed up. Yes. And you said nothing. At least he couldn't touch this one. I'm going to have it removed. No, not yet. Not till it's all over. Mr. Parry, I recognised your voice. That's my friend, I said, the one who knows about DNA. You should be in hospital. If you interfere, you'll regret it all the days of your life. Mr. Raymond, there's a wild animal out there. Yes. Look, I have to see to it. The cruelty man, looking for cruelty, would listen to it. That's a song. Mr. Raymond, I have to have that wolf removed. It's my duty. Do you hear that, Mr. Raymond? <laughs> Delirium. Call a doctor. I'll do what he wants. Look, he'll die. Only what he wants. Gentlemen. I am most honored to appear before such a distinguished gathering. I am most grateful to you for your response. What the hell does imagine he is? Especially those who have differed with me in the past. Sir Donald, Professor Barworth, most gracious. Would those at the rear kindly come a little nearer the front so that they may See and hear more clearly. That's right. Thank you. I am about to provide you with a rewardingly, rewardingly dramatic demonstration of, in a few moments, a few moments, Mr. Raymond. the culmination of a lifetime's work, the confusion of all my critics, as in the folk tale I enjoy telling my small daughter, you gentlemen are now in the position of Little Red Riding Hood as she opens the door of her grandmother's cottage. Grandma, what big eyes you have. And now, now it begins. The vindication of my theory. 
proof. Gentlemen, I ask you to observe closely. My shape is beginning to change. My arms are all thinning. Now it is spreading to my head and my shoulders. My mouth is assuming the shape typical of canis, lupus. Now, now my head, the, the jaws distending, fangs painful, spreading through all the body, the internal organs, transformation almost it's gone. What? He's dead. No, 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 no. Miss Raymond, I'm very sorry. It can't be. I did warn you. N not just like anybody else. Look, it was the best thing for him. It, it's not over yet. All right, yes, we all feel like that. We can't help it. It's a shock. I knew it would be upsetting. Look, please come and sit down. Always knew this part. Please come and sit down. I'll fix you a drink. I've got to stay and watch. Miss Raymond, your father is dead. He died of acute septicemia that he brought on himself, and that's all there is to it. Dead? Yes. What did you expect to happen? must have written these today. Wolf delivered. Excellent condition. A gravid female. Injected it with 250 cc's of serum prepared from my own blood, centrifuged. Did you know about this? Of course you did. He couldn't possibly have managed it without you. A gravid female, in cub, pregnant. He's probably poisoned it, the cubs as well. Miss Raymond, I'm going to have to put that wolf down, so I... Never mind. Hello. Mr. Agnew? Yes, the case of the day-old chicks. Yes, I do know about it. Yes, I know. The trucker spilt his load and your chicks were wandering about all over the motorway. I do know. Look, we're not here to help you sue the trucker. I know you lost the lot. Listen. They had their moment of freedom, and I hope they enjoyed it. Better that than a life in your broiler houses with their beaks chopped off. And you, too. Agnew? Yes. Old Raymount's dead. They couldn't save him. He wouldn't go to hospital. 
I was with him when he... He gave a brief lecture to the British Association and capped it all by turning into a wolf. What? And then he died. I think he died happy. You mean he was delirious? He was completely off his head. Do you know the last thing he did? Really did. God knows how he managed it. He shot a sample of his filthy bloodstream into that young wolf. I had to put it down, Joe. I thought that was the only thing. You were probably right. I don't know. To save suffering? No, it wasn't just that. Sarah, how about some tea? Two thirsty men in here. No, I've got to go. Uh, have you got to? Yes, I'm going to take the big van and pick up the wolf's body. What, now, can you manage? Yeah. I've got to see their doctor. Try to get a certificate out of him. Of natural causes. Miss Raymond, are you there? Are you all right? Yes, I did it. See, everything that was his, he's in there dead as cold as a dead mouse or a fish. And he's nothing more than that. You showed me. His work. Rubbish! All of it mad rubbish! You believed in it. Yes. Am I mad too? Was that it? Both of us mad together all the time. No, 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 it wasn't. He made me believe in it. And uh, do you know how he did that? By despising me. Florence, you're a fool. You're an idiot. You've got no brain. Florence, you're an idiot. And, and I thought because he could say those things to me, his only daughter, that it must be because he was a genius and he couldn't bear my stupidity. Do you see? I had to believe he was. He, he was a genius and I was put in the world to serve him. Please take it easy. That, that's why I let him say those things to me. I thought he had the right. <laughs> His work. His work. As long as I can remember, he was on at me about his work. He'd show me a picture and close. And all the time I struggled to follow and I couldn't. And, and I couldn't. And he'd laugh at me. But, but, but I wasn't a fool. The reason I couldn't understand was that there was nothing to understand. Right, I'm, I, I'm going to say it right to his face. Look at him there. He's just nothing. Do you know what he did? He took all my life and used it up as if he had a right to it. Wasted it. Like the little animals from the shop. Oh, he used them too, you know. He'd take them and cut them up. Florence, Florence, I need two more rats. Quickly now. Miss Raymond, I don't think you should stay here. Right? Florence, he'd say to me, you're a fool, but you've got your uses. Is there any way you can go? Any that, relationship? That's all I was. Something to use. Please come away. I, I, I could have married, you know. There was a man, but he wouldn't let him get near. So that was that. Oh, I did my part. I was faithful. I submitted. And you took it all. The way you took my child. All my childhood cut out of me and thrown away. No friends in the house. Father can't have noise. Father's working. Father's thinking. No thoughts allowed in the, in the house except father's thoughts. No stories even, but father's stories. Ya, 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 tell me a story. Go on, go on. When Little Red Riding Hood opened the door of the cottage, there in the bed was Grandma. Hello, Little Red Riding Hood. Hello, Grandma. Simon, please get some of your things together. Oh, Let us what go. big 
eyes you've got, Grandma. All the better to see you with, my dear. What big ears you're growing now, Grandma, and what big teeth. What a big muzzle you've got now, Grandma, and what big fangs, Grandma. What big... What big... Oh, it's true. I knew it. Just for a moment, it was true. 